Well, hey folks, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna dive off into another area that's brand new to us. We've never tried to do this. And again, like everything else in the last year of our first year full-time in the nursery, this is going to be a learning experience for us. And we're gonna attempt to have a fruit tree sale. Now these are bare root trees here, bare root fruit trees here in the back of my truck. There's about 130 of them, I think, up here. and. We're going to get these ready today to, to have a sale. In fact, the day that I release this video, they're going to be for sale that morning. So we're looking forward to doing this. It's still winter. We're still, you know, six weeks away from spring, something like that. And this is the time of year to get bare root fruit trees in the ground. So we're going to try to offer these for sale to our customers here in a very short time, just days after I got them. So let me show you how we're going to do this and we'll hope for the best and see how all this goes. Now this first variety I want to show you is a black cherry tree. So if you're into black cherries, I'm your guy. So this is a bundle of 10 and they're just dug, bundled together and at various points here up the tree, don't forget the label, up the tree, they're just tied together. So we'll go through and cut all that loose and start putting them in a bag. Now I bought these bags, these are just uh, sandbags from Uline. I think these work out to about 80 something cents each. I'm just gonna bag this tree in its roots. So let's figure out how I'm gonna do that exactly. I guess I'll just wad them up and stuff them in there. And then I'm gonna take a scoop of my potting soil. Not much, just a little bit of potting soil. We've had a ton of rain and I mean inches of rain, several inches of rain in the last two days. And that's just gonna help keep those roots moist in that bag. Then I'm gonna take this string and tie that up. And that will stay, just tie it nice and tight. I'm gonna tie it like a shoelace. That will stay nice and moist in that bag for several days. I'm going to pull this bag down a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on there a little bit better and I'd say this is about five feet tall as it sits. You can see the whole tree there and we're going to sell them just like that. So that's the plan. Now we got to do that about 100, 120 more times and we'll be all done. All right, so here's the first batch. I've got 10 trees right here. I just set them in my trailer to have a place to sit them so they're nice and upright. All of them are labeled, and most of them have two to three branches. Some of them are single whips, but they all look really nice. So, so far so good, I guess. All right, guys, it's taken most of the day today, but we've gotten all of these bagged. Normally, I'm used to saying we've got them all potted, but we've got all of these trees bagged. Just as an example, this one is a plum tree, and it's called it's a plum called Toka, T-O-K-A, T -O -K -A, and it's a good representation of what we had. It's probably, it's about six to seven feet tall, not counting the roots. And, you know, we've got this variety of plums, and. Right over there, we've got a variety of pear uh, called kefir, and we have Bartlett pears, of course, very common, very popular pears. But, you know, it's interesting to just see the growth habits of the different ones. You know, the pears, they've got nice branched tops, but they don't have huge roots. It's just kind of how they grow. Uh, the plums, they got nice tops, nice roots. When I say nice, I'm just comparing them to each other. You know, 
like a, a pear tree's roots don't grow like a plum tree's roots. So it's not, it's not an apples to apples, no pun intended. But anyway, it's just interesting to see their different growth habits. Uh, we've also got some red haven peach trees here. Um, so look really nice. Those are, I don't know, six to eight feet tall as well. Just really good. Some of these peach trees, a couple of them, they're actually over 10 feet tall. They're really nice. So um, just wanted to show you that. We'll walk around the trailer here. We just, this is the trailer. We, we piled them in it and we've piled them around it just to have somewhere to put them. We're going to figure out how to display these a little bit better to actually sell them. But, you know, there's, I don't know, 80 or something on the inside. And there's a total, I think we did 120 was our total. So that's kind of where we are here. We've got just where we started this morning with these black cherries uh, right here in the corner of the trailer. Um, again, I already mentioned these once, but these are Bartlett pears that are sticking out here. And going down this way, we have another variety of cherry called Bing, just a common cherry variety. But, you know, I say it's common. These are not like rare and unusual varieties of fruit trees, but you also can't just run down to your local nursery and buy all these either. So, you know, having a specialty fruit tree sale, you know, we hope it does well and hope it drums up some interest. All right, moving on down this way, uh, we have Granny Smith apples. We have red delicious apples, and I think these were, well, I don't know where they are, but there's honey crisp apples. We have three varieties of apples. So, you know, I say it's not an apples to apples comparison, but maybe it's a Granny Smith to a red delicious comparison. I don't know. Uh, we have Celeste figs down here. These figs are unbelievable with the size of their roots. I mean, we on some of these, we had to prune and prune and prune the roots just to be able to get them in these bags. And these bags are not small, but Anyway, these are really nice, very well-developed figs. And, you know, we look forward, of course, to being able to offer those. So, you know, why don't I just throw that down on the ground? We've never done anything like this before. So we're going to sell these in these bags just like this. I also want to show you some blueberries over here that we've got to kind of add into the mix and kind of do kind of a big fruit sale. And right here in front of me, we have a little pile of blueberries. There's about 50 in this pile. And, you know, I bought these blueberries just like the trees, it's kind of a quick flip item. That's not really what I want to do with my nursery, but I just cannot grow every single thing that I want to sell. Uh, this particular variety is a Brightwell, and we've got four varieties. So we have about 200 blueberries here that we want to be able to offer for sale. They're all really nice looking as far as they're budding up, really nice already. And uh, we think between the fruit trees and the blueberries that, you know, hopefully we have a really good sale this coming Saturday or as you're watching this today. So again, this is our first crack at this. If this works good, if we're successful at this and, you know, we'll do it really big next year, I'm not worried about the blueberries at all. You know, they can stay in these pots for months and they'd be fine well into the spring. You know, the bare root fruit trees, those are what we really want to get out of here quickly. Those need to get in the ground and people need to get those planted. But, you know, this is something that we can a, a little more than double our money on, on a per plant basis. Uh, and I think reasonably sell all of this. So, you know, taking into consideration the money that we spent in gas going to get them and the price of these things and, you know, just like all the expenses associated with it, it's, it, you know, we can still better than double and the quicker we can sell them, of course, it's all, always the better. But, you know, that's one thing that I'm learning and just kind of continuing to hopefully improve on all the time is realizing that there are plenty of items that you can just buy and resell quickly, even though I want to be growing as much stuff as I can too, because there's a much greater margin on the stuff that you grow yourself. But, you know, there's more than one way to do it. And I think say, and we're only going to do it this one way. I don't, I don't think that that's wise when, you know, we can have a thriving, profitable nursery and, and more and more so if we just incorporate quick flips along with growing lots and lots and lots of plants with propagation and all the rest. So that's what we're hoping to do with the fruit tree sale and the blueberry sale. You know, in the nursery, there are kind of different categories or different areas where, you know, it seems like 
you know, you want to kind of grab one or two or three of those categories and try to do really well with them. And here's what I mean. So for example, for a long time, we've been able to do well with screening trees. You guys know about my affinity for green giants and emerald greens. And it's not just that I love them, but we can sell, I mean, as many of them as we can grow, I guess. I don't, I don't really know what the upper limit to that is, but you know, last year we really started getting more into perennial flowers. So I'm calling that a category. So like screening trees is a category and perennials is another category. And we really learned a lot about those last year, about producing them and about selling them and overwintering and hoping to do more with that this year. Also with annuals last year, annual flowers, you know, your, your petunias and begonias and lantanas of the world and that whole world of flowers. We didn't know anything about that. And we started learning about that last year. We've got a big order of those coming in this year. So that's another category that we're trying to improve on. And this year, we're really focusing a lot on edibles. And our fruit trees, of course, are a big part of that and our blueberries, but we've also got blackberries that we propagate and that we've bought in. We'll have lots of blackberries. We've got, I think, 500 strawberry plants coming in. Um, I'll give you guys an update soon, but we're working inside uh, with our tomatoes and pepper plants, hoping to have at least a couple of thousand of those ready to go, you know, starting about April the 1st, which is when we open up around here. So, you know, we're trying to really hit these different categories because a lot of times those different categories represent different buyers. So we can talk about that some more later, and I'm sure we will, but we want to have a wide variety that can reach out to serve a lot of different kinds of customers looking for different things. And this is one way, hopefully, that we can expand into that, into the edibles things in kind of a unique way to not just be another uh, nursery that's got three and five gallon potted trees, but we're doing them bare root and we're selling them for less. So we're going to try it and we'll see how it goes. So guys, just another update on what we're doing in our nursery. And right now it's all about fruit trees and this is going to consume our week this week. And I couldn't be happier about that. So you know, anytime we're trying something new, I'm pretty excited. It makes me a little bit anxious to do it, but I'm excited to see how it goes and what we can learn and hopefully we can make some money. So that's what we're doing all this for. So all of that being said, once again, I appreciate y'all watching. I love y'all and I'll see you guys on the next one.